hello uh, viewers and subscribers welcome once again the new screencast i already talk about detail about this projects like uh, java and java swing based gis software developments based on the geo tools and then gdl or ozr uh, libraries that means those geo tools and gdl libraries is open source libraries based on these uh, libraries you can build your own own customized gis software tool doesn't matter it is the web software tools or is is when uh, or your desktop software tools basically here is focusing the, the uh, desktop software tools your own software tools for for using your your, your your company or you this is your own tools you can manipulate mm, uh, your your g your g spatial data set and then integrate those in g spatial data set with different formats and then after that you can do the uh, do the um, uh, client side programming like um, based on the I mean, javascript or any op open layer libraries mm, and then there is a google maps apis and also the leaflet apis and depending which client side library you can use it and you can very quickly i have many example for that one just go for my channels and then look for the perfect one so i we already talk about these projects and then today i try to give it to you very very beginning um, points like how can you start uh, generate the project build the projects with the different ide basically for me my side is in the eclipse ide you can use also the telegi ide or other ide that's that's you you prefer to to do uh, for your developments so let's continue what i said the last presentation is what's there so this is the my one of the uh, map styling this is my own styling you can customize yourself you can program it you can manipulate this one so this is my basic ui a part of the my uh, my application my my software application give software applications and this is also this one and this is the one of the part is the converter if you have a shape file and you can convert it this on kml csv and then also the from postgres database to the kml and csv yeah, in the csv format after that this data you can you can manipulate or you can call from 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 any 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 site any browser side programming skill programming uh, language or scripts like javascript like open layers or leaflets or, or google maps apis that's what i mean so we will start the, the the development today with this one so this is one of the example i will continue with the the next screencast uh, for how can you develop the the your your build your geometry uh, with java java swing and then with the sql light and a, a spatial light and database extension so this is the tools geospatial tools that i said and then there are a lot of possibilities spatial data post this database and then spatial light this, this two is that maybe you can see here the software development framework and libraries using in the browser side website in browser level and into the in the in the in the, in the desktop level this is the tools that i am here continuing to use the geo tools and then geo tools for in java and then gdl and ozr in gdl also then in, in java so this is the tools that i will talk, talk about this one so let's have a start to 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 develop this one so it, just just follow the last screencast from from 6.0.6.3 to there is a detailed discussion how can you, you know the theoretical concept and ideas and, and then how can you start the development so, so today the screencast i am continuing for the developments i am i am not finishing yet but i am continuing with with you and then start the development so this is the digital website and i can say now we can start now the 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 the, the perfect development the real developments so if you look for the the projects that i said there is a many possibilities to 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 
to implement or to generate the projects so if you see that my project structure so this is the simply java projects you can go this is the important for the this is the telej ide you can this is the at least ide sorry this is the at least ide you can use also the telej ide depending which one and then what you need to install to you need to install the java uh, that means depending uh, which Java version doesn't matter Java 6 or 7 or 8 I prefer like Java 8 uh, to, to integrate or 11 10 11 or 13 14 coming soon the Java versions so this the ID tools you can go there directly project new projects and if you are just simply uh, uh, Java project generations you can go to the Java projects and uh, this is important for the very beginner how can he start so we give it the project name and select the Java version so if you are Java already installed into the your machines and then you can automatically see the the, the selected version which version you have available in the in the in your your RM uh, virtual machines and you can select from one of them the default jhari and then this one so that means you need to install very fast in java or then I have, it's, it's a better idea to build uh, one environmental variable for java and then you can have all, all, all control for the java uh, for for in command line you can see and write the command line then run the java that's just okay the standard way the professional way so this is a Java project. So you see that this is the very simple uh, Java project that I created, and then there is a, there is my implementations, and then uh, you have a dependency. You see that Jhari is a JDK one point eight Java eight, and the reference libraries. I put it all libraries here. You see, if you see the all libraries that I need for the all. <clears throat> GTL libraries and then also the OZR libraries and the GU2 libraries is all the libraries there that I needed for the complete. Then I what I did here as a as a, as a simple Java projects and then it's just integrate the reference library. If you see the the all the reference library, so Java uh, C and GIS Java libs library. So it's automatically. So that means when you export or give it to other other developer, this project's professional way to do. That you put all the uh, libraries and uh, into the some specific directories and then integrate the dependency and then put it the refer uh, put it the reference libraries with these directories. That's I mean the standard way to do. So if you're in the, in the Java projects, simply Java. There is nothing uh, simply Java project. If you try to do in the Maven projects, uh, Maven building tool projects, that's what I did here. Then second projects that that this one I'm trying to explain you today with you. This is one also one of them. One also the one very beginning projects. So very simple. You have a libraries and you have a reference libraries and you have a project structure. That's all. Very simple. In the Maven projects, you you go to the files. And the new projects and build the new Maven projects. Maven projects, and it will go go to next. And then you see the you just basically it's you can start with the, this artifact directory group ID artifact directory ID, and then next, and you put it your project uh, group ID and then artifact directory ID and version name and package name and that's all and so on and so forth. This is that this is the how you start the, your project creations. That's that's done. This is for, for perfect. But this is it is the beginning because I that's I said this is uh, this this project this screencast is started from the very 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 beginning stage to the professional stage. So that means you create the projects doesn't matter is simply Java projects or Maven based Maven based project or Gradle based project. Maven or Gradle means you're building tools. When you finish your development, you have to build uh, the projects and then give it to uh, this project into the into the installation department or the or, or client machines to install all the software as like jar or, or as like in CG, C, C world you, you build the exe file and run the exe file click it and run it and for the Java world basically it is in the jar files so you need to pack to the jar files and then deploy the jar file into the respective client machines that's why you need a specific uh, build tools like maven or gradle in old school it was aunt so aunt maven or the or gradle depending which one you are for for this case i use the maven as how can maven have the really good uh, dependency injection dependency management system dependency tree selections uh, you don't need nothing to do is automatically when you have a maven in the in in, in into the your projects the maven automatically update the your dependency when any changes 
or if you change the version number it's maven automatically download the central maven repository that's why the benefit of the maven maven projects and also the gradle for the same thing because uh, gradle is uh, nothing more